So whatever they do or don't do in God, that's on you. If you don't expose them to it, they're not going to get it. Come on. You know, you know, just, you know, I think our kids are unique here. They hunger for the word. But that's not the average kid, right? Because let's be honest, adults don't always hunger for it like they should. So if you're not hungry, you're not, you're not going to make sure they eat. If it's not important to you, and at some point, and listen, at some point, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you what I know and what I've seen, okay? At some point, if you don't make God a priority in your house, and if you don't, you don't make this experience for them a priority in your house, even though they may want to do it right now, drive themselves to church and not have to depend on parents to bring them. At some point, if you don't show a passion for it and make it a responsibility, at some point, they're going to be exposed to enough stuff in the world that's going to captivate their mind and their attention. Uh, and, 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 and at some point, they're going to fall out of love for Je with Jesus themselves. And then when they get to an adult age, then you want to start training them. Let me talk to you now. You're going to want to start training them when they're adults. And now you, it's too late to do it.